right here. This used to be Bell Gunness' property. Um, it's long gone now, but these were all the bodies were found. So, but there's a house there now. It's right there. Um, I just want to stop by real quick and show you guys where it was, and uh, and we're gonna do a drive-by when we go by, and we'll check it out. I don't want to disturb anybody, but this is where it was. So let's take a ride. And I'll tell you a little bit more about the story when we get there. Not that house, right here. This big house right here. That's the old Bill Gunnis property. Right there. Alright y'all, so we're at Pine Lake Cemetery in LaPorte, Indiana. We're gonna go visit the grave of unknown victims of Bell Gunnis, which were found in 1908. She burned down her farm, which she would be, had been killing people that she uh, hired to work on the farm. And, uh, and guys that she took in as lovers and, and stuff like that, took insurance policies on them killed a bunch of her, killed her own kids. It all started in Chicago. And uh, eventually I'm gonna get out there and do those graves. Pine Lake Cemetery. It's a nice looking cemetery too, it looks really cool. Yeah, there's a chapel up there too, I wonder if it's open. If it is, we'll check it out. But uh, yeah, let's go find this grave. Unknown victims, Bell Gunners. Boy, Midwest Flesh. Go check it out. Wow, check that out, guys. It's a chapel here. It's all locked up, so I ain't gonna try to get in it. Check that out. I'm drive through here because it says they're in the back. up here and I'll check the map again so we can find them. A lot bigger than I thought it was. That's for sure. It's really nice over here. I'm going to stop here. So this is a really nice cemetery. But right over here is uh, when they dug up the farm and they found all these remains, human remains. I think it was like 14 people. And one of them was a beheaded woman and two kids, which was staged to supposed to be her. It was her two kids she killed. But the woman's body with no head they found. They said it was too short. The body was too short, like five inches short, and a lot smaller than Belle Gunnis because she was a big woman. And uh, so it's believed she escaped from justice. And uh, I believe I know where she ended up. And uh, I wish I could get to LA because there's a woman out there and she's believed to be her. And she also was convicted of killing her husband and she is a dead ringer. I'm gonna put the picture in the video right here and uh, let you guys check it out. But right here. In memory of the unidentified victims of Bell Gunnis on the 100th anniversary of the discovery of her crimes, 1908 to 2008. 
1908 is when they discovered these bodies and everything went down. And we'll put some right there for them too. So there's another cemetery, actually two more, that I'm gonna visit today. The lady was crazy, evil. So she would kill all these guys for insurance money. She killed her kids, killed her husbands. It's believed she killed up to like 44 people. But at this crime scene in 1908, it was uh, 14, I do believe. right here so as soon as you come in the entrance go to the left past the office follow this little road around right here and uh, they're right here on this hill if you guys want to come visit them pay your respects rest in peace everybody uh, yes you know and then no we're out of here Let's go find the next one. So right here, guys. This guy right here was found in a waste pit on Belganis' farm. This is the guy that his brother had a bad feeling about, about what's going on when his brother left and, and moved it. He came out here to live with Bell took on the job uh, his, he hasn't heard from his brother in a while and some of the letters that he got from Bell were really suspicious telling her, telling him not to tell anybody where he was going to take all of his money out of the bank and bring it with him all kinds of stuff And uh, well his brother contacted Bell and said that he's coming out he's coming out here to find out what's going on so when that happened, that is when she burned the farm down and uh, and escaped justice, what I say. And it's a really good theory because, yeah, everything just didn't add up. And uh, his brother was the one that actually came out and he helped the search and found his brother's remains. And here he is right here. Andrew K. Helgelin, Helgeline. Hope I'm saying it right. If I'm not, pardon me. It says right here, the last victim of the Gunnis horror remains found by his brother, Asel. He was born in 19 or May 5th, 1908. Oh no, May 5th, 1908 is when they found him. Rest in peace. There he is, right there. The last victim. He was believed to be the last one she killed. Born in 1859, died in 1908. It's great to see people are still coming out here and visiting them. Which we are doing. Rest in peace, Andrew. I'll put that there for you. Sad what happened, but uh, this part of our history around here, this is one of the most tragic things. Ever happened in the port, northwest Indiana history. Uh, she was a serial killer. And she was mean and she was cold and she didn't care. All she cared about was money. But, yep, there's this grave right there. And actually, I heard stories about this cemetery. This cemetery is supposed to be really, really haunted. If you look up Patton Cemetery. All right, so when you come in, if you come in the side, come all the way here to the back I, there was no markers and on find a grave it didn't say where exactly where he was and I'm like oh man I'm never going to find him and I was looking so I looked at the picture on find a grave of his headstone and I just thought I'd come around the back and start and bam I seen it and there it is there he is boom there he is right there he was the one believed to help her, to have helped her burn the farm down and everything. And uh, and he was actually tried to say that he did it. And then he told the truth, I think, 
that Belle wasn't in the grave, in the, in the farm, and uh, she had escaped, and and uh, the body that left there was a setup that was a victim they found to try to make it look like her, because the body they found was a woman, but with no head, and was much smaller frame, and uh, everything, it just didn't add up. But her kids were there, she did kill her kids, and she killed her kids in Chicago, and her husband. And one day, I'm gonna get out there and we're gonna do that grave, if you guys want to see that story, go to Faces of Forgotten. Ron did it, and I, I plan on going out there. And then I'm going to have some friends in L.A. go, uh, hopefully I can get Barry or Beyond to go uh, visit the grave for me and film it of the lady in L.A., which I believe is Bell Gunness. But there it is. It says her last victim. Rest in peace, sir. And, uh, You're not forgotten, that's for sure. So, I'm gonna get a couple shots of this and then uh, we'll get out of here. There's a really old section of the cemetery. Another 1906 one. Oh, she was born or died in 1906. But there it is, guys. A lot of 1908s. Oh, here's Peter Gunness right here. What? Dude, this is the guy she married. Ha! Huh. This is the guy she married. And she killed, too. Peter Gunness, 1902. Wow. Yeah, this is another one of her victims. Uh, this is the guy she married, actually. They moved out here. Rest in peace, sir. I just so happened to look over from his grave, and he's buried right here. That's him, Peter Gunnis. That's wild. Right there, Peter Gunnis. That's crazy. I looked over from that one, and Peter's right here. I thought I was going to have to go search for him. It's right here. I guess in the cemetery, because I see all these graves are like early 1900s, late 1800s, so a lot of these are, are, are right at the beginning of 1900. It's in 1903. Let's see what this is over here. Look at these old, old graves. This place is supposed to be haunted. That's a base to something. Oh, this is in these woods. I don't see anything. Oh, yeah, these are really old. Yeah, like I said, look, 1892. Wow. There's Yoda. Good old Yoda. Oh yeah. There's Andrew right there. And there's Peter Gunnis right there. The cemetery is said to be really haunted and it was also supposed to be a whoa look at that tree fell. Maybe that's a tree. There's supposed to be a tree out here that was used to be used for hanging people. They said it's still here. But it's horrible. Not sure which tree it is, but hopefully that one that fell. Just gonna roll through and we're gonna hit the next spot, guys. I was looking for the entrance gates. It came in like the back way. So we can go find it. Wow, on the back of Patton Cemetery is a Jewish cemetery back here, guys. Check that out. It looks really old too. Huh. Neat. I want to check that thing out over there. Real quick. Let's see what that is. It's pretty cool. Alright, so I'm gonna walk down and I'm gonna check this out.
2003, some headstones. This is a newer part. It looks like Garden of Memories, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I couldn't find a uh, front entrance sign for this place. Lord's Prayer. Yeah, the Gunnis guy's way back there. Alright. Let's see what else we can find. Look at that old tree right there. I wonder if that's the one they're talking about. That is old. And there's some branches on it. It looks like she's done some bad stuff. Alright, I'm out of here. Hello, Charlie. <laughs> wow, this place is old, old, old. Let's go inside. Wow, this is old. Let's go look for this headstone. Mushrooms. His headstone was stolen years ago. They're supposed to have a new one. Let me see if we can find it. I think this is the right cemetery. Let's go see what the sign says. There's a sign right here. I didn't even see it. This is it. Rossburg Cemetery, established 1845. All right, I'll be right back. So you come in off 20, and you come up the hill right here, to the gate, come to the right over here. And he's right next to the Wheat Brook right here. And there it is. I'll walk around. Rest in peace, Mr. Lampier. Like I said, I'll put more about him in the in the video. You know, but there he is. Let's check it out. There's an old cemetery here. I've always wanted to stop here. We passed it so many times. I had no idea this is the one where he was at. Yeah, you can see this is really old. There's some old, old headstones in here. Alright, Midwest Flesh. Well, let's go see what this one is real quick. They're so old you can't even read them. I don't think. Nope. They can't even read them. They're so old. It's wild it's up on this hill like this. right over there guys but look at this when you come out the gate there's two things here I think it used to be an entrance they probably used to have a pillars or something here wild Rossburg Cemetery Laporte, Indiana we out <laughs>